And welcome to White Eagles TV, Belly Olivia Televisia. I'm your host, Mitch. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just woke up to some fantastic news that it's official that Lazar Samazic, uh, the Wonder Kid midfielder that plays at Udinese in Italy, has chosen to play for Serbia and will be available to play for the Serb national team in our qualifiers in about a month from now. That is fantastic news. Uh, it's fantastic news to wake up to that. Uh, one of ours, uh, born overseas like me, has uh, chosen to play for Serbia over Germany. The right decision, uh, in my view, uh, I'm, I've, obviously I'm biased, as you can tell behind me, but it's fantastic news. Uh, my, cousin, uh, my cousin, my uh, brother-in-law sent me a message, so I'll credit him. He's the one that uh, let me know when I woke up this morning that Lazar did uh, decide to play for Serbia, so credit to him. Um, but uh, I'll just run through uh, just some, some social media uh, this is from my favorite Twitter account, Serbian Footy. Uh, he says, it's official. Uh, Lazar Samicic uh, has accepted Pixie's call-up and will play for Serbia in March. Welcome home, my son. I think we all feel that way, uh, which is fantastic. And he goes on, uh, the coach, the Japanese coach, uh, Katsai Ito. Uh, coach is scouting Lazar Samicic, great young player of Udinese, 20-year-old German. He's Serbian, parents are from Serbia, he can play for us. And uh, Stojkovic replied, okay, let us let us check for future Fala. Incredible, incredible. Uh, and then he goes, some great news to wake up to. It is fantastic news to wake up to. Uh, strengthening our midfield. Obviously, he's going to be a replacement uh, for Tadic. Uh, but we'll go to one of my other favorite accounts on Twitter, Serbian Football Scout, Serb Footy Scout. I recommend everyone, uh, if you're a Serbian football fan, check this guy out and like like and uh, follow his account uh, so we'll just go over player profile uh, flamboyant up tempo midfield progressor who has a passing ability a vision to become a side's main creator uh, basically a Dushan Tadic replacement Dushan Tadic will be 35 uh, this year and for the Euros next year will be 36 and that you'd think he'd be his last game or last tournament for Serbia and he'd be gone so boom this kid just replaces him um, a goal up uh, output machine, mostly through elite ball striking and set pieces. Uh, best suited to be a free eight roll, followed by a number 10. Uh, on the ball, press resistant and involved in all phases. Uh, accelerate to play with uh, first time line breaking passes. Uh, skilled ball manipulation with, uh, with which skills he can create uh, uh, advantages. Razor sharp ball striking with both feet, both feet, fantastic. Off the ball, roaming midfielder, subtle movement. Uh, mostly operates in the right half space and likes to arrive in the late uh, in the opposition box late. Uh, subpar man, man making uh, man making skills is his own third. Lacks natural anticipation, but is aggressive and disciplined in possession. In pressing, sorry. Uh, physical, despite his size, agile with fluid turns and changes of direction. Nice acceleration with or without the ball. Has excellent balance, which allows him to stay on his feet. Uh, and uh, even when under pressure, does have a fairly average pace and needs to work on his dual uh, strength. Serb, Serbia's pace has always been one of our worst. I mean, I know I'm the slowest uh, Serb guy out there. I mean, white people were slow uh, to begin with, but I'm below that uh, for pace. Uh, if you see me, uh, I, I barely barely get out of first gear. I barely can run. Uh, 80, 184 centimeters in height. Uh, he's, he's contracted to Udinese till 2026, uh, value 5 million and uh, rating 4 out of 5 stars. This is fantastic. Um, if you uh, if you just go through, he's done a massive summary uh, of uh, Lazard Samazic and you know he's, he, what his talents are. He's posted a few videos as well. I just want to focus on, on this page, what he posted, which is fantastic. Uh, and then obviously I've just replied, brilliant profile. Uh, bring in Fred, thank you for this. Uh, thank you for your kind words. So give this guy a follow. Uh, it's a fantastic account. And uh, I know just on my uh, on my uh, uh, Instagram account, if you haven't followed, follow please. Uh, I just woke up to some great news. Um, and there it is there. Uh, this is from the Savez itself. Lazar Samizic, the young and talented ace of Udinese, has accepted, has accepted Dragan Stojkovic's invitation and will be available for a Serb national coach since March. And obviously our first game is 25th of March against Lithuania in Belgrade. This guy on the bench, 60th minute, put him on. Uh, and let's cap him. I think we have to actually cap him twice to be 
full-time uh, serve me, can't play anywhere else. So we've got two games in a row. I'd, I'd play him in one. Oh, sorry, coming off the bench one. And the second game, I think it's in the water. Uh, let's face it, we could probably play him uh, off. You know, starting, we'll probably pick up three easy points there. Uh, but <laughs> that's fantastic that they've got a picture of Stoikovic looking up and there's uh, Lazar up there uh, celebrating uh, something. Uh, and I wouldn't just touch on this, what happened yesterday with um, poor uh, uh, Dimitrovic. This is incredible. I mean, he gets attacked uh, by a uh, fan of PSV Eindhoven uh, and he pushes him to the ground. Let's just watch some of this footage. Push him to ground and just hold him there. And you look at some of the photos of that of that fan being held. Look how he took a swing. That, that is incredibly poor for a player to, to be attacked um, like that, especially a goalkeeper, he's on his own at the back. Luckily, everyone else ran in to help him out. Uh, but to luckily, it's you know Marco Demir. If, if you see the picture of this guy, he'd be the last one you'd want to take on. He's a unit, you know. And when he's bold too, you know, bold people are scary when they're units and bold. You just think, fuck, you know, this guy's scary. But yeah, he holds him to the ground and to security, and the other players uh, run in. And this is just something. The Savez posted today, obviously in celebration that Lazar Samic has chosen to play for us. Uh, that's just uh, Vlajevic, Kostic, Sergei Milinkovic, Savic and his brother Vanya uh, down the tunnel at the Maracana. So yeah, so uh, fantastic news again that Lazar Samic has chosen to play. Um, is there any other... Uh, Kosa uh, wrote uh, midfield, uh, Samic, Savic, now, I, I don't think he's going to play for Serbia. Uh, he's more... I mean, I, one of my followers on, on Twitter said that there's not a lot of Serbs in Spain, so the connection he'd have to our country would be very slim. Apparently, he's Serb, speaking Serbian, he's very poor. No connection to the country apart from his old man. And who knows, his dad's probably been in Spain for a long time now. It doesn't... How Serb would he be? So I don't think he's going to play, but uh, hopefully. Uh, the Jokers, yes, we need some good news for Bacic now. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, Luka put a picture of him up there. Bacic next. Uh, massive news. Fuck our uh, Mali. Tell your boy from Germans on 21. Who's sent Bacic that he needs to do the same for Bosna. Um, yeah, so it just, yeah, big grab. Uh, now you're Bacic. Up, uh, next up, Stefan. Stefan Bacic. Um, these are, these are just, you know, yeah, as you can see, everyone is pumped, uh, that Lazard signed for us and, and they're calling for Bajic, uh, should, you know, should now play for Serbia. I don't think so. I love him. I mean, he's only 18 too. Uh, he'd be a fantastic player for Serbia, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. But, uh, uh. Oh, also, I'm uh, make mention of this blue jersey I'm wearing. I bought this from a Serb website. Um, uh, it's on Instagram. Uh, I'll, I'll post a link. I can't... name escapes me where I bought this from. It's just the like an alternative kit, the blue version of that Puma jersey that they released uh, before these terrible jerseys they released now. And obviously with the uh, best badge out there. And uh, as you can see, my Serbian badge is at the back. Uh, no better badge than this one. If the Savez is listening... Uh, please, uh, you know, change it back. Listen to the fans for once. And also, I believe that, you know, with all the new stadiums being built around Serbia, I believe we should be taking some of the smaller games. Lithuania and Sinagora at home should be taken to some of the smaller ga smaller stadiums like the one built, being built in Loznica and Leskovac. Uh, you know, you pack it out, 8,000 uh, in a full stadium is better than 10,000 at the Maracana, which is empty. Uh, it will just look better on TV, look better for the players. Uh, the fan, you know, you take these, some of these big, uh, these might, small games to the smaller regions of Serbia, it will only do great things for, you know, the people out there, the economy out there, that, you know, it always seems to be focused on Belgrade and Novi You take it out, out other places, it'll help those other places boost their economy and jobs and so on. So I hope Tasabez does take a few games out there. I'll, I'll post another video about all the stadiums being built currently in Serbia. Uh, I know I posted one already. It's, it's huge, gone massive, over 5,000 views. So I'll post another one with updates, uh, get some photos, get some video of, of some of these stadiums already being built. And uh, hopefully we can take some some Serbia games to those, to those stadiums. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. I, I like and subscribe to this to to my YouTube channel, uh, to my Instagram account. You can see there, Belly Olivia Televisia, White Eagles TV, and uh, my uh, 
my uh, Twitter account, which is also called White Eagles TV, 219 followers. Uh, I'm hoping to get that to you know massive and, and turn this into uh, you know an account for all the fans. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.